This is Twit. Now, back last year, I remember at this time, AMD was on around what 0.5 percent of enterprise space market share, I think. Um, and so it seems like uh, there's a bunch of room for growth there. And so AMD's mindset is to kind of jump into the data center and different strategies here. Can you maybe talk about what AMD is doing here and some of the things they're kind of sh- going to be shipping soon? Yeah, it's it's kind of like the AMD logo up and to the right. Um, yeah, so <laughs> so I, you know, 0.5 is is probably generous. Um, Opteron was was a product that at its height uh, grew to be about uh, 33% of the revenue and about 27% of the units. Um, but uh, in in some ways, the the company uh, the the roadmap on the high performance side kind of lost its way. Uh, and so, so the present leadership, uh, Lisa Su, Mark Papermaster, Forrest Norod, uh, you know, they came in in the the four to five year mark uh, uh, back four or five years ago, uh, and really made some hard choices. And you know, in fact, getting us um, out in terms of a hiatus from the market, so that we could go back and, and take a look at what it would take for us to be uh, a major presence, and also provide the type of, of competition and innovation in the market that, you know, frankly, customers deserve. Uh, having only one vendor really makes things difficult, uh, not just from an economics perspective, but also impedes uh, impedes technology. So, uh, so they did that. And uh, as, as you guys well know, it, it takes a while to, to bring a, a high-performance processor to market. We've been hard at Absolutely. work. Mm-hmm. Uh, I personally have been at AMD for uh, a little over three years. And so uh, in June of last year, we launched our, our new uh, flagship data center product, which is the Epic Processor. And uh, and since then we have you know we've been doing everything we can to uh, you know be, still be very focused. We don't want to go and and broad blanket uh, approach to the market, but but we do want to uh, you know offer customers a, a choice that uh, is really going to make a difference for them. So that that's sort of our mission uh, is mm-hmm. is to continue to be an innovation engine in the market and also do something that's very different than what they're getting with the competition. Now, you did bring up the uh, Optaron uh, strategy that you had, and I did remember hearing about the fact that there was actually with the K-12 ARM-based Opterons that were out yeah. there and the fact that, hey, let's put a ton of micro cores on these CP, on the on these dies and then kind of sho- shove those into the data center. So the, basically, the more CPUs there, what kind of happened even to that side of things? I think um, now that it's a little bit of a different strategy, but I'm curious to hear about the ARM strategy, where that went. Yeah, I mean, uh, ARM. Uh, I've got a couple of interesting stories there. You know, so so when I was at Hewlett Packard, uh, I was part of the team that launched. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember Project Redstone, but it was it was a Hewlett Packard uh, ARM based product with with Cavium, uh, and and you know that was great from a uh, market moving perspective. Uh, kind of got everybody motivated, but the net impact to to HP and to the the greater data center was very small. Fast forward to to my time at AMD, uh, one of my first jobs was launching a, a product we called the A1100, which was a 64-bit ARM product. Uh, and I, I'll never forget going into the the press briefing. I was maybe three or four weeks on the job, and uh, and all the questions were about you know they they had figured out that that we were getting back into the high performance x86 business uh, and that's where all the questions were we we had had cleared all the hurdles for arm you know 64 bit ecc uh, we had the right operating systems we we were really what we thought making it uh, way more accessible for data center customers to begin at the very least proof of concepts uh, but certainly in areas like nfv uh, and storage, uh, ARM seemed like a really great alternative, and yet um, all anybody wanted was x86. So, so for right. us, uh, it's part of the strategy to to be nimble. You know, we we certainly uh, pay very close attention to the the ARM industry and the development of it in the context of the data center. Uh, but we are absolutely clear. Um, we are 100% dedicated to uh, the Epic product line as an x86 ISA and, uh, and really making it super easy for customers to adopt in their data center. 